What you are about to watch is rejected footage from the Time to Shrink channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Quiet on set. Rolling in three, two. Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. Today we are doing another episode of our mystery ingredient challenge. My son had his 18th birthday today and had some friends over and they have a bunch of odds and ends of leftovers from a potluck, y'all. So we roped one of them in to doing a mystery ingredient challenge. So, come here, Victor. Not you, I'm not talking to you. All right. Hi guys, I was roped in to do this challenge. This is Victor. All right, so Victor, the rules are you have to use everything on this table, at least part of it. You have a free access to the whole kitchen. It has to be done in one hour. One hour. You have one hour. And you have to use something of everything here. All, All right. right, I'm going to leave you to it. All right, and hold. That's, that's fine. All right, and Victor, center yourself. And I'm gonna start. All right, so I'm looking at these ingredients so far, and let me just describe them to you. We've got a can of salsa con queso, just cheese sauce, some noodles. Look at the camera. Buffalo dip, I reckon. There's some mac and cheese, not keto, I don't think, and thickened chalky salsa, obviously rotisserie chicken, some chips, and what's this towel doing here? Of course, my, uh, my dear friends have left me an orange. I feel like this is going to be an interesting challenge. Your clock starts now. My clock starts now. Oh dear, okay. Well, what I'm thinking here, I could make a casserole, which is, I guess a staple for this challenge. I'm not too sure. <laughs> now, I think I want to center something around the chicken, right? Because the chicken is a, it's a versatile thing, you know? You can stuff a chicken, you can roast a chicken, you can rotisserie a chicken, then do whatever you want with a chicken. Now, hmm, I'm thinking, mac and cheese stuffed chicken? That sounds terrible. But it would it taste good. What do you guys think? I can't talk to me huh? on the internet. Well, you gotta <laughs> that. Tell you what, mac and cheese stuffed chicken. And then we'll have a bit of the buffalo dip around the side. Garnish it with salsa, queso. And then uh, give it a face with the tortilla chips. Give it some hair with noodles. And then, how's an orange gonna fit into this? Guys! Oh. <laughs> These people, some nerve they have. Okay. Well, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna warm up this rotisserie. And then see what happens, I guess. Where are the pants? Is it a couple of pans? No. Pans are above. Pans are above. Yo, that's sick. Okay. Uh, this one looks kind of neat. Way longer than what I need, but uh, yeah, I'll wash the dishes. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking the drippings would make a really nice gravy. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Get a fork or something to transfer this over. Look at that. Yeah. And you know what? Never ever waste these leftover juices because they're just packed full of flavor, nutrients, and vital things you need. You can make a really nice broth with all the leftover pieces of chicken. Broth. Hold on. A soup maybe? Could make a soup. But re-roasting the chicken is essential because it gives me time to think an excuse. Uh, I'm going to show you how to turn it on. Uh, I think it's the part of the Bigger. challenge. Part of the challenge? <laughs> okay. We'll let you do it then. Okay, so upper oven or lower oven? Are they talking in terms of hemisphere? <laughs> uh, bake? Whoa, that's fancy. Uh, start? I hope it's working. Let me turn on the <laughs> There we go. Okay. Well, while that's doing its thing, I think I'm going to find the rest of the buffalo dip and the mac and cheese. Actually, what if I did a mixture of buffalo dip and mac and Because they don't taste too bad together. It's really mushy. And I don't think it would be visually appealing. 
You know what I mean? Because the heat from the buffalo dip, and just the the richness of the mac and cheese. And the buffalo dip is really rich too, so I don't want to make it like. Hmm. What I'm scared of is it's going to be too fatty, right? It might cover your tongue and not let you taste anything else. But the chicken is relatively dry. I've just had a stroke of genius, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, how do I turn this thing off? Okay. I hope this is... Oh, ow. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to retcon everything. Plan B. We're going to stuff the chicken before we put it in the oven. <laughs> Rubber bands they put on here. I don't understand that. Do I have to use the rubber band in the dish? No. No, okay, okay, good. Can I use the rubber band in the dish? Do you want some scissors? No, it's fine. You good? It's fine. I got it. Just unravel this poor guy. Okay? Alright. Now, I hope y'all are out there washing your hands in this corona time. Can't say that. I get to oh, okay. Yes, you can. It's fine now. Well, I hope you guys are washing your hands every so often. It's an essential part of the cooking process. Um, it's also an essential part of surgery. Uh, what else do you wash your hands for? I guess shaking other people's hands. You shake other people's hands with your hands. Well, there you go. Thank you so much. Well, I'm just going to open up the rear end of the turkey. I'm going to open up the turkey. And we'll see what happens from there. This is cool enough to touch down. Yeah, it's pretty cavernous. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right. Just going to open this poor guy up. Poor girl. I can't tell. Uh, yeah, screw it. My hands are already dirty. All right. No, I'm sure this isn't what you've been expecting, and I uh, I want to apologize for that. Uh, looking at a teenager put mac and cheese into a rotisserie chicken isn't very appetizing. Should have caught on to that, but what can you do? These are leftovers after all, and you need something new with your leftovers. You can't just show up to a potluck of leftovers. That's kind of suspicious. And there's always a question of who takes home the leftovers after a potluck. Well, in our case, well, the time to shrink, Chan. But if you go to another friend's house with a potluck, right, and someone brings a whole heaping of mac and cheese, but the mac and cheese isn't very appetizing, you know what I'm talking about? Or there's just, there's always one person who comes in bulk, but they don't really know how to cook. So everyone takes a little bit to be polite, but it's always a mess. Do they take it home with them? Or does the host keep it? Because obviously they now aren't going to eat all of that mac and cheese by themselves. Does the host prepare takeout containers so everyone has to suffer together? Or... It's, it's long and arduous. Maybe you guys can tell me the answer. Comment down below, please. please. Alright, well that looks relatively stuffed. I'm not going to tie it back together because that's a lot of effort. Um, uh, yeah, that's my only excuse. That could be useful later. I have to scratch my nose, so let me wash my hands again. Ah, I'm glad you can join me. <laughs> now back to the discussions about hands. I don't know what a cuticle is. Does anyone really know what a cuticle is? I hear people talking about them and say, Oh yeah, uh, Stacy, I just got my cuticles done. Oh, really, Becky? Where'd you go? And that nail salon down the street. But I've never seen a cuticle. I don't think any of us have, personally. Uh, I think it's a, a myth created by Big, big Cuticle to sell more cuticle. No, that doesn't make sense either. Oh, calm down below, I guess. Alright, now that's done. I have to reheat the oven. 
Three cheers for foresight, I guess. I'm going to toss this bad boy. Now, I don't think I fully explained why I stuffed it with all of that greasy, fatty uh, stuff. But the idea is the chicken is dry and we need to add more moisture to it. And the brain can't really differentiate. Well, it can, but not very well. Uh, the moisture that comes from water and the moisture that comes from oil. I'm sure you already knew that, but you know, you have to say it for the new guys. Uh, the theory is that the juices and liquids that come from this relatively wet and squishy mac and cheese and the oily, sour, creamy, spicy uh, chicken dip will rehydrate, not rehydrate, flavor the chicken. Right? And I hope, I hope it works. Now, there's the question of what to do. We've used these two ingredients, so let me just push them off camera. What can I do with chips, salsa, uh, cheese sauce, noodles, and an orange? <laughs> well, I'm sure you guys have better ideas, but uh, I can't hear you. Hmm. Now, you see how this noodle has some vegetables in it? Does that count if I take the... Yeah, okay, uh, it counts. We could make it healthy. Add, add a little bit of the vegetables. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add a little bit of the vegetables as a garnish. Now, what we have left is this and this. Uh, the salsa and the cheese sauce. And the chips. We couldn't mash them together like a cereal. There's a chorus of no's. If you can't hear that, they, they didn't like the idea. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> not going to eat it. Uh, maybe like a moat of salsa around the chicken? Serve it as a side? What can you do with this? Oh, you know, how about a cheese crisp? Do the ten thing? minutes have elapsed. Yo! I, I only used ten minutes! We could talk about cuticles all day, guys. This is sick. Okay, um... Water, Monterey Jack cheese, soybean oil, uh, maltodextrin, jalapeno peppers, modified cornstarch. So soybean oil is, I think, the third ingredient in this, and I don't think we can make cheese crisps out of cheese dip, for obvious reasons. The oil is going to catch on fire instead of evaporating. It wouldn't be very crispy at all. I think this is liquid. Hmm. Well, let's let's figure that out in our third. Third, 10 minute increment. 30 minutes? 30 minutes. What are we going to do with the thick and chunky salsa? So this is medium right here, so it's not that spicy. How about a beverage? It's kind of liquid, right? No, okay, so the people that almost turned the video off, let me explain myself. The thick and chunky salsa really has crushed tomatoes, onions, jalapeno peppers, tomatoes, distilled vinegar, blah, blah, blah. This sounds like a health drink. If I didn't know any better, and you gave me the list of like V8 and salsa, the only real difference is jalapenos. And you could have a spicy beverage, you know? That's what I'm gonna do, health, health drink. And to make it really, no, a sports drink, we're gonna add a ton of uh, sugar, right? That's the only difference between a health drink and a sports drink, guys. Make your own home. Buy one of those V8 juices, and then just pour an equal amount of sugar in there. You'll be absolutely fine. Uh, it is now time to say that Time Machine Character Bill is not liable for anything that happens to you. So take these words with a, a grain of salt. Let's see. Now, Mark, we're going to the whole hour up on my channel. Yeah, this is a little testing cup. Oh, ouch. <laughs> this is a nicely designed kitchen. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to test a little bit of this by itself. Hey, Victor, Victor, I yeah? need you to shut up for about a second so I can break the film up into chunks. Okay. <laughs> it's very chunky. Yeah. And it tastes like any store-bought salsa. You want me to get the blender down for you? No, no, thank you, though. Thank you. Um, what if I add water to it? A watered down sauce, I know. Victor, you're so original. Fantastic. Well, it might become... Oh, that looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it kind of looks...
almost like that watered down fruit juice. And it tastes <laughs> like it too. Oh. That kind of looks like 7 Up, doesn't it? Not 7 Up. V8? I can't say the brand names. You're going to have to bleep this out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make his life oh. torturous. V8! V8! <laughs> oh, he's calm now. Okay, so I've added a lot more water, a lot more salsa. That looks kind of reddish. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh, this is disgusting. Why did I think? Casserole. You may want to check your chicken. <laughs> but just in case. The chicken's fine, guys. Looks happy though. It smells as like you would expect. I hope. <laughs> it's kind of like cinnamon. It's vaguely <laughs> cinnamon. That's not right. <laughs> Back to the main issue. <laughs> Sugar makes everything better. Right? Sugar's behind you. Okay, yeah. Can I use the monk fruit stuff? Yeah. Or, I mean, we have real sugar. Oh, you have real sugar? Up top. Uh, up top. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, up. You third. may need... Dude, I'm way too short to grab. You may need a stool. <laughs> hey, can you get out of my, like, shoulder or something? <laughs> oh, thank you, young man. <laughs> oh! Alright. Is this it? No, it's almond fun. It's, in, ah. it's on the third one, the powder. There's a bag of normal sugar up there. This one's also powdered. I don't know, I think we may only have powder. Oh, that's fine. Oh, this one's already open, so I'll use this. One third of all food cooked is wasted in America. And now you can see why. <laughs> Quiet on set, guys, come on. I hope he cuts this out. No, the, the the whole take is going up on my channel, and edited highlights is going up on the Time to Shrink channel. I hope this doesn't end up in the highlights of the Time to Shrink channel. <laughs> I, this isn't the content you deserve to see. You deserve to see something much better than some kid stirring in powdered sugar to <laughs> salsa water. <laughs> It's all right, guys. I, I know that feeling. I don't. Hey, Victor, you can add this to your reel. Now, I'm not saying it's good. <laughs> but. I'm not saying it's bad. Now, this is actually a really good testament to the power of sugar. Where's that immersion one? Because it's the chunks that are really offset. Hold on. Jackson, do you have a big bowl or something? Yeah. I'm not making a bowl this much, don't worry. That's stupid. Oh, the chicken. Well, it hasn't caught flames yet, guys. Oh, well, thank you so much, young man. You are a saint. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the immersion blender. And I'm so sorry you had to see that. I'm going to use the immersion blender, and I'm going to blend all of these chunks together so we get a nice, smooth liquid out of it. Oh, I was going to drink it anyway. It's fine. Cut that out. Do, 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 do. Never hold metal. <laughs> I'm still watching it. Never, ever hold any metal when you're plugging something in. Because maybe you've accidentally bought a Chinese knock -on. Maybe you've accidentally bought a poorly made tool. And that poorly made tool could be poorly connected electrically. And they could have planned that you were a vital component of that electric uh, circuit. So, just a word of advice. See? Yeah, okay, we're good. How does this work? <laughs> oh, there's a power button here, so... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like a space blaster. 
Oh, I shouldn't do that. Okay. Woo! That's <laughs> sick! Please cut the audio off. <laughs> oh god, it's smattering out of your arms. Okay, hold on. I'll add more water. Oh, thank you so much. Well, I'm gonna pour this. Actually, I don't want to waste any of it. What's your guys' favorite way to use an immersion blender? <laughs> Mine isn't this. You can make mayonnaise with an immersion blender. The main ingredient of mayonnaise is soy, you know. Hold on a second. <laughs> Now, soybean oil is the third ingredient. Have you... Maybe... We can make a sandwich! Oh, that's cute! 20 minutes? Okay, okay, well, I need to work a little faster. Okay. Uh, this place looks a mess here. I'm gonna move all of this out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I hope this helps. Hey, can we make sure this stuff's clear of the camera? Bada bing, bada boom. Victor. <coughs> oh, that's it! I can see myself now. <laughs> Alright, so here's our uh, sports drink. I'm going to wash this cup out. Ah, you've joined me again. All right, I'm gonna rinse this cup out. I'm gonna dry the outside. Have you ever noticed how condescending <laughs> cooking shows are? Can you flip that back up? Uh, you you Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how condescending cooking shows are? Well, most of them, some of them, not many of them, but mm, some of them, right? Just start talking about uh, setting the oven to 350. Like you have no idea what an oven. I'm gonna rinse my palate with a little bit of water. It tastes about as you expect. Oh, the chicken's ready. I'm so sorry. Let me see. Well, it smells crispy. So I'm gonna turn this off. That's a little smoky. It gives us a flavor, a deeper profile. But where were we? Yeah, back to the important experience. So our health drink is here. Sports, I'm so sorry. Sports drink is here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of it in here. Well, it's definitely not as thick as the last time. It's a little strong. I mean, it's a little more blending, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And do you have food color right here? Food color. Yeah, give me a sec. It's in the truck. In the truck? Our food coloring is stored in the truck, apparently. There was red food coloring for the pop up. I feel like there might be. Mom, how long should I eat this one? Why the chickens don't like sugar? Like 20 seconds, probably. I might not have any food coloring. It's the chicken. Oh, no, there's sprinkles. Sprinkles? Well, if they're red, it's fine. There's red food coloring in the truck. Oh, I guess there really is red food coloring in the truck. Jack so like sure we were getting Why not a set, guys? Come on. What would Jack think? What would our glorious director? Hey, Victor. Okay. I'm not going to catch that. The dog's going to eat it, I guess. Another uh, few words of wisdom from the guy who stuffed mac and cheese into the chicken. <laughs> If something is being thrown at you, or something falls off the table, never catch it. Okay? Now, I don't care if it's a million dollar ruby and the last of its kind. We can always find another ruby. <laughs> we can make another last of its kind, for God knows what. You can't grow another finger. Okay? <laughs> Be careful. Now, where's the red food coloring? Right. <clears throat> this looks completely unappetizing. We're going to make it less so. Here. Oh, hi, Andrew. How are you? Oh, you're not supposed to be in. 
I can hit. Oh, all right. Well, take care, young man. All right. So a few more drops of food coloring. Let's see what happens here. Let me put this up. I know that annoys some of you at home. Woo! <laughs> now that looks nice, doesn't it? You see, if you didn't know what was in here, you would probably think this was appetizing. It's a little bit uh, more appetizing. See, look at that. That's a nice color to have. Oh, the glare is a little bad, but look at that. That's a gorgeous color. That's something you would see in a sports drink. Okay? This is probably my biggest stroke of genius yet. I'm going to rinse out the cup again. Oh, I've got food coloring on my hands now. Great. There's still a little bit of salsa on here. That, the entire thing tastes the same. Which kind of defeats the point of, excuse me, kind of defeats the point of cleansing your palate. Or makes, does it make it stronger? I don't know. I'm not a chef. I don't know. Okay, that kind of looks watermelon flavor. You know what I mean? And it tastes like a health drink. I'm sorry, I was about to say something. Victor, I, I have another show. Don't Please. forget about your orange. Don't worry about the orange. <laughs> I'm the director. Victor, don't worry about your orange. Mm. It's a little chunky, but like a like an unstrained... What's the word? Hey, what's it called when they have the pulp in the uh, orange juice? Like a pulpy orange juice. <laughs> and I can't blend that out of there, unfortunately. Uh, is there like a, a strainer or a coffee thing I can use? It's, it's safe. No, Jackson, I don't think so. Uh, well, you know, it smells a little like rum. I think that's the chicken. <laughs> uh, I think that'll be good, man. Okay. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, pardon me. Now, a completely unrelated note, I would love to flambe some. That is all. <laughs> when I'm serving it, thank you so much for serving it. Okay, so I'm just going to strain all the big chunks out of here. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. Ooh, and that looks exactly like you would expect. Use your imagination, dear viewer. I'm not going to pretend like this doesn't taste like salsa, <laughs> but I'm also not going to pretend that it doesn't taste good, okay? Wait, <laughs> Let, run that back. I'm not going to pretend like this, I'm not going to pretend, I'm not going to pretend that this does not taste like salsa, but it tastes pretty good. So I think that's the last of that. Just right, well, we're back. Um, do you guys choose when to have the ad breaks? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, so we've got our punch here. I'm gonna call it a punch, because I don't know what makes it a punch. And I don't want anyone to tell me. So we're gonna set this aside for now. Uh, we can't pour it in the garbage disposal, because that would be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and this will be what we serve it. We're just gonna put it right, ah, right there. Okay, now let me position those so you can see them. We've used the salsa. I can't throw it. Yeah. Uh, we haven't used the, the chips, or the... I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. Now, I'm sure you guys have thought of something. But... Oh, yeah. I could have just added it to the chicken. I could add it to the chicken. Like a little, a little drizzy, drizzy, drizz. A little drizzle over the chicken. 
So we know what we're going to do with this. We're going to set this aside here. Now all that's left is the uh, tortilla chips and the... Um, how do you spell after the color? The orange! <laughs> noodles. No. Oh no, we're, we're using the noodles, Jax. Don't worry about it. Mr. Producer Man is getting feisty over here. Okay, so what do we do with these two? Now, as much as I would love to, they will not go together. <laughs> I could squeeze a little bit of orange juice into the punch, but that would make it appetizing. And I don't want anyone at home to try this. No, not going in the punch. Maybe a garnish. A little bit of le uh, orange wedges around, that would be cool. Okay, so now we know what we're gonna do with the orange. Ha ha, you guys thought I didn't know. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, what, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Does anybody know? Anyone at home? Corn chip. Okay, well, maybe if I had to read the ingredients. White corn vegetable oil. Salt. That's it. That's it. It's like a bad bread. I can't make a sandwich out of this. I can't do anything with it. And it would be cheating to lay it out as presentation. And I'm not a big fan of cheating. Well, maybe a little. But not to the point where I would do it. Don't cheat. No cheating. Now I can't use it as a garnish either, because that would be cheating, right? I, I said, oh, I'm going to use the orange as a garnish. I can't use the orange as a garnish either. Dang! Hmm! Well, I guess I have to use the orange juice. We're, we're going to ignore this problem for now. We're going to keep ignoring it until we find a solution. The cutting boards are below the stove, off to the side. The juicer is, I think, under the knives. That drawer right uh, top. Can I use these knives on the back? Okay, thank you. Alright. just going to cut this poor guy in half. Alright. Doesn't look too bad. I hope these are seedless, but if not, I can just strain the seeds through my fingers. There's really no point in whipping out a piece of equipment when your hands are washed and you're not too worried about your water bill. Well, it's not my water bill. Sorry. <laughs> That's that orange. For the other half. I'm going to be a little more gentle with this one because I want to zest it. Why didn't you zest it beforehand? When you eat before Come on, man. It's part of the creative process. Do you think... Um, yeah, I, uh, I can't defend myself there. I should have zested it beforehand. Okay, well that's good enough. Got enough orange juice in here to make it count as an ingredient, I hope. I'm going to put this... Ah, heck, I'll put it in the serving glass so it infuses with flavor. I'm gonna give this a little stirry stir. What? Oh, don't judge me! <laughs> it was already covered in orange juice. Should I taste it? Good idea. Never serve anything you haven't tasted. Are you guys gonna have to eat this? Yes, all of us have to eat it. Yes! We have to taste it. We gotta get some nice taste things, guys. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a spicy sports drink. And I was right. This tastes good now. But I don't want you guys to make it. Okay, which is why I'm not disclosing the ingredient box. Please don't attempt it in your own home. Okay? People love you. Alright? There's no need to go to such extremes. Okie dokie then. What are we gonna do with these bad boys? 
Oh, people who are uh, complaining about me using this, this as a garnish on the chicken, no. It will be an accompanying sauce, yes. which is much fancier sounding. <laughs> and the only way to have a good sauce on a warm chicken is to have a warm sauce. So I'm going to get a pan, I'm going to warm up the queso. Ah. Is this microwave safe, actually? I don't want to put any more effort than I need to. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, I have to transfer it to a microwave container. Of course, classic. <laughs> oh, okay. There's nothing more satisfying than a jar of popping. So, uh, bad news. I've just smelled it. No, it's not infected. It just it doesn't smell good. Is this expired? No, it expires 2021. Uh... Hmm. And I can't serve my good friends this queso, because they all owe me money. And they would no longer owe me money, because I would have to pay their hospital bills. This does not smell good, and it will not taste good. Right. The chips. Um... Okay. <laughs> it tastes like you'd expect. How much time do I have left? Uh, 24 minutes. Uh oh. Okay, well, I better think fast then. How much do I have to use? Just a little bit. How much is a little bit? Like more than a quarter of a teaspoon. How much is a quarter of a teaspoon? Other drawer. Mmm. So this is a quarter of a teaspoon, allegedly. This is a quarter of a teaspoon. I have to use more than this? Yes. Turn away. <laughs> look, look to the other side. I don't want you to witness what I'm about to do. They won't know, would they? That's more than a quarter, definitely. All right, so let's see how this tastes. It can't possibly taste good after that. Um, so for those of you who are still with us, and who haven't clicked off after I, you know, committed a terrible crime. I probably should have warned you to turn away. Well, I didn't post. Turn away now. It doesn't taste different. So I think I've uh, cheated the challenge. Bye bye. Could you think I could do the same with the corn chip? You have to use at least one corn chip. After you, okay, so the boss is telling me, allegedly, one corn chip. And you've probably heard that anyway. I want to dip it. How much time do I have left? Uh, John? 22.33. Ah, okay. So remember how I said sugar makes everything better? If I coated this in sugar, no one would be able to tell. Oh, what if I dip it in caramel? That would require you to make caramel in the next 20 minutes. Caramel. And... Yeah, good point. Oh, I need to whisk this together. That's our only functioning whisk. Just push it down. This is cool. You see this, guys? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Yeah, me too. All right, that's done. <sighs> okay, 
So all that's left is a corn chip. I think it's time to cheat. I'm just gonna stick it on the chicken. No one's gonna care. That's fine. <laughs> all right, roll. Noodles. I'll get to it, your highness. Come on. I'm just watching this. You aren't missing it. No, we need more on cuticles. I'm not gonna tell you more on cuticles. You should know cuticles are easy. Okay. So I think I'm gonna move on to the final plate. What are the plates? Other one. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, uh, regular viewers. This must be so frustrating to watch. Okay. I am sure the regular viewers have left by now. Twenty minutes remaining. Twenty. Oh, good lord. Ah. Okay. So this one's actually hot, not pretend hot. Um. There are oven mitts behind you. Oh, really? Next to the stove. Drawer. First drawer down. Oh, cool. Can I just use this? That's probably the worst one. Your oven mitts don't have to match. It's your kitchen. No, I'm not talking to you. And if they do, you can help me get out of your kitchen. That looks fine. That's a rotisserie chicken with mac and cheese. Your, your cabinet's still open. My what? Cabinet. Viewers, do you find it annoying that the cabinet is still open? I don't. <laughs> What is your opinion, you guys, of yours? You ever have a messy cooker in your kitchen? A big word for me, I know. But do you ever have a messy cooker in your kitchen? Just someone who never closes the cabinets, not doesn't wash the dishes. If you don't wash the dishes, you shouldn't be cooking. But someone who leaves all the drawers and cabinets open and never cleans up after themselves. Not me. Mm. <laughs> but all of that. I find this really annoying, but, you know, what can you do? Well, learn to cook for yourself and kick that person out of the kitchen. Okay, well, here's a, a leg, a drumstick, a thigh, a thigh. And I'm going to spoon a little bit of this mac and cheese on the side. It's absorbed the juices of the chicken, and it's given a little bit more moisture to the chicken. So it should taste pretty good. Okay. Very good. And I think there's some more buffalo dip in the back there. If you are sensitive, please turn mine out. I'm so sorry you have to see that. All right, I'm going to put a little bit on top. Okay, there we go. Now that doesn't look too bad. Kind of like a church pop. -up. Actually, I'm going to move this drumstick. Oh, no, terrible idea. So I'm going to keep this drumstick here. I'm going to move that out. I'm going to move the chicken out of the way. Hey, catch. Spill on the stove top behind you. Okay. You don't have to wear the glove if you don't want to. It's heat proof either way. Okay, so we've got rotisserie. We've got rotisserie, we've got mac and cheese, we've got buffalo dip, ah, corn chips. Just crack one over. This isn't an elegant process, though. You know. Oh, I should have toasted them first. That would have looked really nice. Okay. So corn chips. Um, noodles, Mr. Producer Man. I'm going to use a little bit of these noodles. And we're going to make this dish healthy. So I'm just going to chop these up. Oh, let me wash the knife first. You're back. Good. Expecting more cuticle top now. You know, I'm surprised those 
You know the people who, uh, who work at the mall, right? And they just sit in the middle of the aisle selling perfume, and at bigger malls they sell fish and stuff. And sometimes they chase you down and spray you with some strange scent and tell you, oh, because I sprayed you, you owe me some money. Well, I think they should register for the Olympics. Because it takes some sort of trained, keen mind to, to realize that, oh, I am desperately in need of perfume. And I am running away from you because, well, I don't know that you sell perfume. And it also takes a keen body to, uh, to chase down someone who desperately needs perfume and to spend their money. Pretty sure one of those guys could beat Usain Bolt. <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? All of them could. Alright, well we're going to chop this up and make a little salad here. Kind of like a coleslaw, but less rich. Fifteen minutes remaining. Thanks. Now that I've roughly chopped this up. Okay, we've got our little salad here. And we're going to add this to the plate. There we go. Now if that doesn't look at it, it doesn't look at it. <laughs> okay, so we've got the noodles out of the way, oh, supreme leader. And we've got most of our stuff there. Uh, is there a paper napkin, paper towel I can use to clean this plate up? Um, uh, thank you so much. And remember, you always eat with your eyes first, so make sure the food you serve looks good. Big words for you. Okay, let me tuck that in. Now, for those of you who have flocked over to the unedited version, hoping for some naughty words and bad advice, I'm afraid you've come to the wrong place. Um, should have stayed at the first channel. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's good enough. And now, for the beverage. What is considered a beverage? I'm sure it's on Google, but I can't Google anything. I had my phone dirty, and I don't want that on my search history. People might think I'm uh, not as smart. <laughs> yeah. Is water a beverage? I don't think it is. Someone out there probably knows. I don't think it is. Is it? Who knows? Well, anyway, uh, can I get a, like a ladle? Oh, cool. I'm going to be merciful and fill this with ice. The ice machine doesn't work. You have to open it, yeah. drink over into the ice. It looks, it looks what? It looks nice. Thank you. It looks very pretty. It'll taste even better. Okay, we got that. I hope you don't see all this mess in the camera. Uh, I'm going to go a little further. Now for the orange, uh, do you have a zester? Yeah, yeah fine. top drawer. 
Ah, here it is. Thank you. Get a little bit of that blind zest. Ah, oh, who doesn't like that? Put your hand down. <laughs> now always zest your uh, citrus before peeling them. Because if you don't, it'll just fly everywhere. Right? Okay. And maybe you'll do a wedge. Ooh, maybe a wedge. That might be it. Yes, a pre-squeeze. <laughs> a pre-squeeze. Okay, well, maybe not a wedge. A little more orange juice. This, this is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm washing my hands again, so if you want to try me. Sometimes it's not necessary to wash my hands. Just give them a little rinsey poo and you'll be fine. Alright, Victor. All are, right. you, are you declaring your dish finished? Uh, yes. Alright, well then, camera. Y'all, he finished in less than an hour. I know. So tell us what we have. Uh, well. I'm not too sure. What we have here, uh, if I can use this knife to point out, no. Uh, what we have here is a mac and cheese and uh, buffalo dip combination that was cooked inside of the rotisserie chicken, reheated, and uh, I wanted to add a little bit more moisture to the chicken to see what would happen, and also gain some of the flavors and juices that the chicken had. Um, right beside it is, of course, the chicken, and it's been garnished with a little bit of that, um, a crunchy, uh, corn chip? That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And right in front of it here, we have a uh, salad made out of some cooked celery and cabbage uh, with a little bit of carrot mixed in All there. Alright. What's in the cup? You oh yeah, what is in here? <laughs> is this gonna be in our next cocktail video or not so Perhaps. much? <laughs> well, uh, what we have in here is a mixture of salsa, uh, lemon juice, uh, lemon juice, I'm sorry, orange juice, and ice. Uh-uh. I hope you enjoy. You also yeah. have cheese in it. Oh, you also have a little bit of queso. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Who uh, wants to try first, y'all? Don't be shy. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. Taking one for the team. All right. Oh my gosh. Don't everybody jump up at once. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm worried about. This I'm not. <laughs> Do we have straws or are yeah, we just trying to see? Okay. Say, let's like chop up some of these. Yeah. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Boy. We're all gonna take one one collective sip Hand at once. <laughs> oh, we're all gonna get that close. The ham tweet. <laughs> the ham <laughs> tweet. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> well, you will know very soon when the next time all we right. think. John, John, you and me first. Yep. Yeah. Zero to five. Five being the best. Zero. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel. All right, I'm I'm going for it. Yeah, that's. Oh. That's so <laughs> like I I kind of feel like it's going towards uh, Bloody Mary, and then you get that hint of queso. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anybody else brave enough on the drink? All right. All right. Two. We're gonna. Do you want to do it at the same time? Oh, oh. that does not work. Just, just. Do you have a sip? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this one has. Oh, that's one. That one's gonna be here. This one has. Okay, thanks. I feel violated. <laughs> Can I say that? I feel violated. Oh my god. It is not oh. <laughs> Have you tried it? No. Oh, I, uh, I can still taste the queso, like, yeah, minutes it's... later. It has a burning feeling at the back of the throat, which I don't oh, know. Go ahead and drink yeah. this. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, stop right there. That's enough. I wouldn't say it's bad, <laughs> but I certainly wouldn't recommend it. All right, y'all, zero to five. Zero being the worst, five being amazing. One? I'm gonna go it's two. addictive. I'm going to because I didn't like 
It didn't come back or oh, anything. Oh, no, that for me is a one. <laughs> okay. <that's laughs> one. I didn't like it, but it stayed down. It stayed down. Two of those forced on a diet. So, <laughs> the water. Are we oh. allowed to ask questions? About yes. It? Okay, why didn't you just pour that on top of your chicken? The salsa? The salsa. That would be yeah. gross. <laughs> that tastes terrible. You already have mac and cheese inside Instead of it. Why didn't you make a, a casserole? You could have made a casserole with all of this stuff. Well, or added water to, <laughs> to moisten. I didn't think of it. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right, we have to taste oh. the rest of it. Oh, good luck, guys. <laughs> I mean, right. this is probably going to be a bit more appetizing yeah. than. Yeah, this can't. This isn't going to be. It bad. can't be that this bad. Be I'm just not looking forward to eating the mac and cheese after drinking that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to carve that? Yeah, probably. Okay. Does anyone want to try the salad? <laughs> oh, I forgot the salad. The salad. <laughs> the tiny little. It's healthy. <laughs> it tastes like salad. I mean, what more do you want? All right. So the oh, meal is good. It just tastes like what we just had earlier, right? Just yeah, it, it tastes like you reheated in. leftovers. Like you said, a church potluck. Oh, that's a bone. That's why I can't cook oh. that. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I mean, I don't want to break your stuff. The mac and cheese and the buffalo. Hazel's dip. back here. Hazel wants to try, don't you, baby girl? You do. <laughs> Is it animal cruelty, Becky? <laughs> yes. 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 Do not give that to my dog. <laughs> well, we have little uh, shred. I can see why you had trouble cutting this earlier. Thank yeah. You. He shredded it behind camera. You know what? Oh, there was originally another chicken, just but just let it. It's just yeah. That's. Yeah, I'm not yeah, don't, let's not even, there let's, we go. Little bits in there, just grab a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go with chicken and some salad and some mac and cheese <laughs> and some buffalo dip. We're gonna it all together. Wait, where'd you put the noodles? Oh, the salad. salad. The veggies from them. This plate tastes perfectly fine. Yeah, it tastes good. Excellent. I'm not going to give you a five on creativity, but taste is good. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, I'm, I don't want to eat that. You go awesome. right ahead. You drink it drink it's away, so Victor. Dramatic. Drink it's so Drink away. Dramatic. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, final judgment. Overall, three. Yeah, I agree. You're being very generous, Jackson. Well, what are you going to give it? Because the food was already pre-cooked, it's just rearranged. Talk, talk, talk. Oh. Everyone's a critic. Yes, I am. Because the, the food was already pre-cooked, it was just rearranged. The only thing that you made was the drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not like the drink, so one and a half, maybe two. Understand. Yeah, I think I'm going to go two and a half. Because I think you could have been a lot more creative with what we, what we gave you. But you did go very, I never in a million years would have thought to do the drink. So there, there's some creativity there. I'm not sure if we pulled it all the way together. <laughs> all right. All right, y'all. That is going to be the end of this one. Who's going to do the mystery challenge next? I have no idea. Will it be a little bit less scary? I Hopefully. hope so. All right. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Be blessed. Is that how we're supposed to wave yeah. like this? That's what I do, okay. yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, oh, we can turn it okay, So what's in the drink? Oh, yeah, what girl. is the Queso cheese. Go ahead and salsa. I gave myself Powdered sugar. 